Hey y'all, it's Prism again. The commentary on this video will be a bit different than the other draft match videos I did. The other ones, I wanted to redo the audio for various reasons, but for this video, I'm going to be using the live commentary and thoughts I had throughout the match. And if there's any dead air, I might interject with post-VO stuff or creatively edit it out. One little note I want to say before I cut back to the live commentary for a bit is that since the original draft had four Demon of Solitudes, I had to replace one to make it a legal deck for friendly challenges. So what I ended up doing was replacing one for Raised Dead, since that was one of the choices that happened in the draft. In this match, I'm up against Nick, who is one of the artists for the team. I've seen his work in action, and he's very talented, and he's behind a lot of your favorite art and animations. But with all that out of the way, I hope you enjoy this video. Just trying to get on board as much as possible. Like I might like discard maybe frenzied monstrosity. I maybe mean, I should have frenzied risen of or discard this. Let's see, I'll discard risen of Avarak. I know I could discard this. But I kind of want to be able to uh, just get on the board as fast as possible. Like I'm probably going to be like maybe playing this on like a unit here. And then uh, we're just going to... I could also maybe discard this and then play... Yeah, I think like the goal is like discard this and then play this and then we'll like have different plays to turn afterwards. Like, we'll have, like, three mana to get rid of, uh, this. We'll have to see, though. Okay, I didn't play this on turn two, so that's kind of interesting. I'm just gonna keep stacking up my Devil Despair. Just get on the board as fast as possible. Yeah, I guess this could technically block, which would kind of suck. But I'm just going to go for this play. Like, I'm just trying to get on board as fast as possible and win. I'm either going to win fast or lose fast. There's no in-between. Dang. Okay. I lost my flyer for free, which kind of sucks. This is the play that Ben did to me early on. Which kind of got me. And he's stacking up stats on this, so that could be problematic for later. Uh, I could just play that directly. So we're, I'm going to play this. And I still have one mana to discard something if I choose to do so. But I kind of just want to cycle. I'm just going to get rid of flying on this and make sure I click the right target this time. And we'll see if we can maybe high roll this defense thing here. Okay, eaten by zombies, pretty good removal to get. I think whatever we do will probably die to this, unfortunately. Let's get like a six power thing. That's kind of like the ideal scenario. Uh, just one power short. Well, it is poison, so theoretically it should die, right? Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's see. I'll just get this out. And then, as I said, we're going to curve out as much as we can. Okay. It's kind of a, a little bit of a tempo loss. Luckily, we were able to get this developed, which is kind of nice for us. Infected Monk. How can I be mana efficient right now? I could try and do 4 and 2, so maybe... I do this. Maybe play this. Then I can try and get rid of this, I guess. Do I have a demon? I'm, I'm gonna buff up my guy real quick, and I think that's pretty good for us. Yeah, so far game's going pretty good for us. Okay. 
Okay, this time we're going to be taking 8 damage, but I think that'll be okay, potentially. I guess the main downside is we're going to be losing our... Um, we're going to be losing our 8-6-8 and our 12-7 into a guy that's 8-12. So it's kind of like an inefficient trade for us. We lost like 3 cards. Granted, the, the card could be played for free. Uh, well, effectively like a free card or whatever. But we do like lose a little bit, which kind of sucks. Um, I'll just redevelop this and just keep trying to race down as much as we can. Maybe I'll try and like develop Daniel Money next turn. I think it's a player D Money. We'll try and get that going. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to discard this and then play Daniel Money. And now I'll try and do this, maybe. We'll get up like a slight defensive force. And then try and burn through here on offense. I think this might be a problem though. We'll do like 8 damage in total from these two guys to this. So this will be a 3, so we'll need like a 5 in a future turn. I do eventually want to get this out. Yeah, I'll finally lose my turn 1 play, but this got like, what? Like, a good amount of damage. I played it since like, turn 2 or something? I forgot what this effect was supposed to be. And now I'll just keep on, like, recurring this every single turn. I'll get my guy back, which feels pretty good. Oh. I guess this did like what like ten like or one ten times instead of like adding up to ten. Like I thought it'd be like a Cyrodenathrius type deal, not like an arcade missile, but it's okay. Let's see. I'm just gonna go on the offensive again because I have big dudes and I want to swing them. I guess I could always have Daniel money first. And um. I'll just keep developing this. I'll develop this first. And then I will discard this so that way we get a little bit more stats on this. I'm a little bit more mana efficient. Hopefully, we either get like a five split killing this or we just kill this straight up. That'd be the ideal. Five five? Okay, if we did 5-5, five, five, that's honestly, like, pretty good outcome for us. Okay, it looks like we're probably favored from this point on. I'm just gonna eat by zombies this. Go face. Face is the place. Try and develop another recurring nightmare. Oh, I know, it's the first one. The other one didn't die quite yet. And then I will end my turn. And yeah, looks like we're going to win this one, which feels pretty good for us. Honestly, I thought it was one and done. I didn't realize this was round robin or Swiss. I forgot which format exactly, but I thought it was like single Elam. So happy to get at least a win before I bust her out, you know? Yeah, anyways. That'll do it for this match, it looks like. Although, wait, maybe there's like a last defense thing. Oh wait, I should have probably read this card a bit. Oh, it's untouchable, that's why. Yeah, I should probably read. Card gamers not known for their reading skills sometimes, but... Thankfully, we were too far ahead for it to matter. I'll take the win. Uh, see y'all in another one. Bye-bye.